Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing this picture puzzle effect here in Photoshop Elements. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you click on share and subscribe as well. When you subscribe, hit that bell icon a couple of times to get notifications of my new videos. And take a look at my description for my complete training for Photoshop Elements. Okay, let's get to it. This picture puzzle effect is one of the guided edits here inside of Photoshop Elements and it's real fun to use. Let me just close this down and we're going to get that out of the way. Now the easy way to do this is just to first open your picture up inside of expert mode. There we go. And then switch over here to guided. Inside the guided edit section you want to be on the fun edit tab right there. It'll open you up over in basics. Just go over and click on the fun edits. Now you'll find the puzzle effect right down here. One with these kids jumping, you can kind of get a preview by rolling over it like that. Click on that, and this will automatically load your image into the puzzle effect guided edit. Now you have three choices over here on the size of the puzzle. I'll go for the large size, and it puts in the basic puzzle look. There we go. Once you have that done, come down to the next button here, and it's select puzzle piece. Click on that just once. And you get, you can see it right there, you get a little magic wand icon. Click inside of one of the puzzle pieces, and then we'll select just that one piece. Then come down here and click Extract Piece. It takes it out of here and puts it in the middle of the page right there. You can then just take that and put that anywhere you want to. If you come just outside of a corner, you kind of get this little bent arrow here. There it is. You can use that to spin this. Now don't worry about this. We can actually reposition these things after we finish the puzzle effect. What we need to do in here is simply get our puzzle pieces cut out. Let's do just two more. I'll put this one right here. Go back to the select puzzle piece. Click in there. There you go. Come down to extract piece. And it's in the center again. I'll put it right here. Let's do one more that's attached to this one. There's one thing I want to show you on this. I'll do this one right over here. Again, click on Select Puzzle Piece, click into the Puzzle Piece, it selects it, come down to Extract Puzzle Piece, it takes it out and puts it over here. Now, as soon as you extract that, you'll see that there's a little bit of the puzzle left right down in through here. For that, come down to the Erase tool, and you can then just erase that piece out. Now, one thing about the Erase tool, one thing that's not shown down here, is how to change the size of your paintbrush. It's easy to do. Just use the left or right square brackets. There's the left one, and here's the right one, to change your brush size by using the keyboard. OK, I'll just come in here and just erase that out. And we'll erase this out as well. There we go. You can also clean that up in expert mode later on if you want to. So there we go. There's our basic puzzle piece taken care of. Once you've done all of these steps, come down here and click on Next. This will then give you the option of either saving this or continuing your editing in quick or expert mode. I always use expert mode, or you can share on Flickr or Twitter as well. Let's go to expert mode. We can now see what's been done in here. It took the background original picture, it made a white layer above that, copy the background above that, use that to do the jigsaw puzzle effect, and that's actually on two layers here. There's the piece right here, and right above that is the jigsaw puzzle grid which it placed on top of that piece. Now above that these are your three moved pieces up here and the little FX over here this is the thickness and the slight drop shadow in there. And that's inside of your layer fix. Now all of these these are your three puzzle pieces if you want to move those just hide and show it like that you can see which one it is click on that layer and then using the move tool up here you can now position this anywhere you want. So it's pretty easy to do this once you get into expert mode. Now let's put this one maybe just like that. There we are. Let's check out layer four. That's that one. Okay, and let's give this one a little rotation. Again, come just outside of the bounding box right here. Get a little bendy arrow on the corner. We can then rotate that around. And I'll put that just overlapping a little bit in here. That's pretty good. And let's move this one around someplace. That's our top layer right there. There's show and hide. And then again, we can move that one. And I'll give this one a little bit of a rotation as well. 
And there we go. That's that puzzle piece effect. It's actually one of the better of the guided edits with just a few little tweaks on how to work with this to get the most out of it. Okay, once this is all done, you're all set to either save this out or print or whatever. Now I recommend printing right from the Photoshop Elements file. It prints just fine and you have your full resolution and everything else in here. So I would just print right from this file. If you need to have this saved over to the web, let's go up here, I'll do a file save first. So file save. This will save it in the Photoshop PSD file format right there. I'll choose save. And then we'll do a save as after whatever format you want. So file, save as. You can do save as or save for web. I tend to be doing the save as nowadays just because the save for web is not really necessary anymore. It's very detailed, a lot of options in there, but they're not really that necessary. Okay, save as down to JPEG. Here's my folder where I keep a lot of these images that I use. I'll give this one a different name. I'll just call it puzzle piece. There we go, JPEG format, choose save. I always save my JPEGs at the highest quality level choose OK, and there we go. Okay, so that's how you do one of these picture puzzles using that guided edit. Let me show you where that is one last time. That's over in guided, right here. It's in the fun edits tab, and it's the one right down there with the kids jumping. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay? And I'll see you next time.